working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'ma give it my all until this curtain's on a gig. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'ma give it my all until this curtain's on a gig until I feed my folks. Let's get free. I imagine by now you've all seen the email I had to send out. After the recent string of what can only be described as gross workplace misconduct, I am forced to stand here like your mom and treat you all like children. And just so we're all on the same page, I have zero interest of raising any children of my own, so you can imagine how chagrined I am to be in this position. HR has instructed me to read the following, despite my strong objections, so here we go. Although it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, it is not acceptable behavior to graffiti the bathroom walls, draw genitalia on the office plants, or microwave a CD, even if that CD is a Rod Stewart album that came out in 2013. That album is an overlooked gem, and I will not apologize for having it in my cubicle for personal use. Nobody's asking you to, Danny. Let's talk consequences. Either I'm told who did these things, or I'm dividing the cost of the damages evenly amongst you all, and we'll deduct it from your paychecks. Cool? You know where to find me. Okay, so which of you did it, hmm? Banji, you always hated Rod Stewart. Okay, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, everyone hates Rod Stewart. Patently false. Oh yeah? Why did they have that rumor about him then that he got his stomach pumped because it was full of too much semen? Even in the 70s, everyone knew his music sucked. Okay, Benji. Danny, look, just because someone used your CD to break the microwave doesn't implicate anybody here. Remember, it wasn't just the microwave thing. Fine. So which of you was it, hmm? Hmm? Et tu, Marte? Still not a nickname. And no, it wasn't me. Fine. Lena. What are you hiding behind those voices, huh? Oh, what? Uh-uh! I know you didn't accuse me! <laughs> I mean, um, seriously? Would you really accuse me? <laughs> Sarah Silverman, America's sweetheart? <laughs> but really, would you accuse me, Dame Maggie Smith, of drawing such vulgarities? I think not. I have so many questions for you about Downton Abbey. Maybe it was Lorraine. You've been here a long time, girl. You've had years to plan your revenge and then sail off into the sunset. I promise you, dear, if it had been my grand plan, at least three of you would be dead, and I'd already be on a nude beach in some Polynesian country drinking Mai Tais. Oh, a lot of people don't realize this, but Mai Tais were actually invented in Oakland. Although, Mai Tai is the Tahitian word for good. I know that's not helpful, but I just find it really interesting. I make that four dead. Also, not a denial. And Carrie, do you have anything you'd like to share with the group? I think the genital graffiti is a crude interpretation of Judith Bernstein's early pieces, but to quote the great Michelle Tanner, how rude. What about you, Lemon Zinger? No. Excuse me? No. You all know how much I love this office. Of course you do. What he meant was, have you seen anything fishy? You know, like... Someone carrying a marker, or someone acting sketchy. I'm sorry, are you mansplaining clues? <laughs> no, I was... Maggie, have you seen anything suspicious? For a while I thought that Esther was dealing drugs, but it just turned out to be an underground railroad for tampons. Hey, I would never deal drugs here. No, I know, I'm so sorry. And what about you, Alice? What about me? Look, I don't like accusing people of things. That's literally all you've done for the last five minutes. Okay, but nevertheless, you're the new girl here. We don't know you. Oh my god, Alex, help me out. Come on, Danny. Nah, Alex, even you said you'd barely seen Alice until she showed up a few weeks ago. None of us know how she feels about Rod Stewart. Look, do I enjoy Rod Stewart's entire catalog? No, of course not. No self-respecting person would. But, uh, I do think it would be nice to walk down the aisle to Maggie May. <clears throat> that's, a, whew, that's a beautiful idea. And while I think drawing wangs and vajayjays on plants is hilarious and borderline genius, I didn't do it. I need this job. 
as much as I hate to admit it. I mean, that's why we're all here, right? Hey, why are none of you making calls? This isn't Scooby-Doo Day. Back on the lines. Mrs. Kosciusko, how are you today? Hi, it's Alice from Freezer Fresh, purveyors of the finest flash frozen meats, cheeses, fruits, and veggies delivered right to your door. I do hear that dog barking in the background. What kind of dog is it? I have a mutt too. Mine? It's a Doma pug. <laughs> yeah, half Dalmatian, half pug. We think there's a little Sharpe in there too, but that's what we said about my Uncle Bill after the lap band surgery, so who knows? <laughs> oh, you can say that again. But fortunately, I use our service, so I only feed her top quality meat for a fraction of what it would cost in the store. Uh, my husband too, but I gotta say sometimes I think the dog is a little more appreciative. <laughs> right? I don't know which one drools more. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we create a plan to fit your budget so you only pay for what you want when you want it. I'll transfer you now. Great talking to you, Sherry. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> Dalma bug. Oh, Alice, you have outdone yourself. You guys, this is so exciting. It's bullshit is what it is. Hello, Gary. Uh, hello? It is a mystery for sure. I still think it was Lorraine. Or like the James Condor or Kathy Bates. Oh my god, is that Scott Conn's dad? I love Scott Conn. Oh, Gary, there you are. Hi there. Yeah, I'm calling from Freezer Fresh. That's right, Freezer... Gary? Hello? I don't think it was Scott Conn. I mean, Lorraine. You know? Mm. Oh, Gare Bear, how is that connection coming? No, that's okay, you can hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Legally, I cannot. Okay. What if it's like a Goodwill hunting situation? You think a janitor got a job here to draw genitals on our plants? Yeah, but like really good drawings of genitals. Yeah. But I see your point. It's far-fetched. It's far-fetched. If this were a TV show, it would either be someone totally overlooked, like the janitor. Which would be like really disappointing. Yeah. Or it would be someone obvious, but for a different reason than we first suspected. Oh my god, like Lena? But it's not vandalism. It's performance art. <gasps> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Beatrice. Hi, it's Carrie from Freezer Fr Wait, Mom? Oh my god. No, Mom, it's me. I can't believe this. This is so funny. Wait, your full name is Beatrice? Is that really your mom? No, Mommy, I'm at work. I can't. Hi, Graham Graham. Yeah, I miss you too. I, I was just calling to check in. How's Grandpa? We should probably go. Yeah. Hi, Graham Graham. You didn't happen to draw penises on our plants, did you? Nothing. Sorry, Graham Graham. Now, see, that would be random. So, long story short, that's how I got banned from all the Fuddruckers in the county. And <gasps> <gasps> we caught you red handed. That's still okay to say, right? Gentlemen, what seems to be the issue? You were drawn on that plant. I'll remind you I'm your boss and I was doing nothing of the sort. You have a Sharpie in your hand. I was trying to cover it up to make it look like something else. Oh, really? Well, what was it before? Because now it looks like a big old dick. Hey, well that is not appropriate office language. Huh. I get what Carrie means about the Judith Bernstein influence. Denise, we got you. Just admit it. Fine. So what if it was me? What are you gonna do? You're gonna tattle on me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? You're gonna tattle on me, your boss. Are uh, you really a couple of tattle boys? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. We're big time tattle we boys. We are the tattle boys. You know what? Screw it. I don't care anymore. I'm out of here in a week anyway. Wait. What? Yeah. I gave corporate my notice last week. You're, you're leaving us? Oh, come on! You're not the only ones with dreams here, Danny. I started here as a summer job, in college, and I'm still here! 
Besides, you are about to get me fired. Well, what is it you're going to pursue? I actually don't know. I always wanted to be an oceanographer. Or maybe I'll get into phone sex. From what I hear, the pay is better. You don't feel anywhere near as gross at the end of the day. Okay, but what the hell? Why would you do all that stuff to the office? And a rod. Yeah, you were gonna take money out of our paychecks. Oh, come on. I never told corporate about any of it. No money was ever coming out of your paychecks. I watched all of you find ways to have fun and rebel for years. And so I wanted to have some fun myself before I left. Watch you sweat. And I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you. <gasps> Scooby-Doo Day. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's okay, Denise. We won't tell anybody. You won't? Nah, we don't need to be tattle boys. Well, thanks. You really think they're Bernstein-esque? No, oh, yeah. I mean, what with the uh, them being penises and whatnot. I majored in visual arts at RISD. Hey, and look at all you've achieved in spite of that. What Danny is trying to say is that you've always had our backs when it counted, and we're going to miss you. Thank you, Martin. It's good to know that being here wasn't a total waste of my time. Oh, are you gonna miss us? Maybe. <gasps> oh, she's not gonna be in charge anymore. Who is gonna be in charge? Cause look, I know I just got promoted, but. If corporate takes my recommendation, you will be in very familiar hands. I told them Maggie would make an excellent branch manager. Oh. Well, that is the second best thing you could have said. I am totally on board with this idea. Was not asking your opinion. <laughs> now, come on, let's go tell the group they're not in trouble. And so, for the morale of the group, I called and told corporate it was Jerry who had been pulling the pranks. Whoa, Jerry's been sneaking back here? Entirely possible. Either way, as long as the pranks are done with, nobody will be punished. Now get back to work. <laughs> Fuck this place. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dave. Shut the fuck up, Dave. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dave. Shut the fuck up, Dave. <laughs> I need that as my ringtone. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, I've actually managed to save some money this month. You're welcome. Mm. I'm just saying I could probably start looking for a place of my own now. Oh. Great, uh, that's, well, I mean, with a lot of those places, they need first and last, deposit. Uh, yeah, I, I think I have that. Really? Yep. Wow. You must have had a good month. Yeah, well, I had a lot of really good teachers. Thanks, sis. What? No, not you. Um, Benji, Lorraine, Carrie, Esther, actually, even kind of Danny. Everyone except you. Wow. Nice. <laughs> but I did get a higher pay rate because you vouched for my telecommunications experience. Well, you were on the phone all the time when we were kids. <laughs> we had two lines. You were on both of them. <laughs> that is true. Mm. You have a point about the deposit and all that, though. Maybe I should wait a little longer. I talked to Lauren, and we decided that you can stay another month if you need to. You did? Yeah. I mean... You're my sister. Oh, thanks. Can I tell you something terrible? What? I've been really wanting to try steak. Really? I talk about it every day, it sounds delicious. Oh, we are making some right now. Now? Yeah, I got a freezer full of meat and I haven't made a dent in it. Oh, sounds fresh. Oh, it's not just fresh, it's freezer fresh. Oh, fancy. Oh, it is so marbles. Yum. When was the last time you had meat? Uh, college? Oh, no. Yeah, 
I'm gonna destroy your bathroom later. Our bathroom. You're gonna destroy our bathroom. Oh, Alex. I'm glad we're frogs. I hate you so much. I hate you too, big bro. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'ma give it my all until it's curtains on a gig. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'ma give it my all until it's curtains on a gig until I feed my folks. What about you, Lemonheiser? No. I'm scared. No. I didn't. But it's not vandalism, it's performance art. Exactly. One more time on that one. But, you know, you can only get your gallbladder removed so many times, I guess. <gasps> <gasps>